Hello, Sports Recap fam. Here to talk about today. So it's been a while, but I want to go ahead and recap the football season. How I feel about this season. The season went eight and four, eight and four, with losses at Wake, at Louisville, home against Georgia Tech, and at Duke. So we did. We did pretty good. Those losses were unfortunate. That's the best word for those three out of the four losses anyway. We gave ourselves a chance in each of the four. But we saw stuff this year that I just haven't seen in a while. For the first year in quite some time here, Chapel Hill had a buzz about it. The fan base came out to the games. The dedicated fans came out. And when the, the game needed the crowd... The fans made a ton of noise, especially on third downs. You won't, you won't, Wild Keenan stay and look no further than the NC State game this October. If you told me we would have been six and one at Keenan Stadium with wins against Virginia Tech and NC State, I would have laughed. I really would have laughed. I didn't think it was possible that we would get Virginia Tech and NC State at home, and they were both noon games. And they were great noon games, phenomenal noon games. This is the first year out of my four that I haven't fussed about noon games because we played so well with them. Versus in the past, our team, for some reason, just, I don't know what happened. They come straight from the bar to the game. I don't know what, but they didn't play well in noon games. This year, we came to play in noon games. With the exception of Georgia Tap in the second half, we played extremely well in noon games. Those were great. The wideout, things that we don't do here because we're so good for tradition. Even though our, our football team has not been good enough recently to have a tradition. That's my stance on that. So tradition to me goes out the window. We don't have none because we're not winning. So the wideout was great because we did the all-white uniforms. Uh, a lot of the crowd was in their white. It was phenomenal. And the Tar Heels just did not let Virginia Tech they didn't give Virginia Tech an inch. Virginia Tech scored for the first touchdown, and that was it. They led for 14 seconds because Sean Talley took the kickoff right back, and we didn't give Virginia Tech an inch the rest of the game. Elon and Idaho, shutouts were not easy, especially with this defense that would seem to be really sketchy at times. They pitched two shutouts. While they were against Elon and Idaho, Bush Davis didn't pitch any shutouts to my knowledge. We played JMU, and you can guarantee the score will be somewhere along the lines of 42 to 10. Citadel, 40 to 6. Women Mary came in here and gave us a fit, 21-17. When we played overmatch opponents, you got to take advantage of that. That's what Fedora did, and Bush Davis didn't. He played to the level of competition. At some point, Fedora will go back and get those losses that happened this year that shouldn't have. But we played in every game. It's not like we gave a game up. Like, we gave several up last year. This year, we, I didn't think we gave any up. It was great. I enjoyed this year a ton. State, I mean, has a senior leaving this place? What a better way to go out than the first win against State in six years now? It was phenomenal. And the way that game happened, I would... Rather blown out state from the at the beginning of that game, but though I could not ask for it any different the way that game ended. We had to erase a ten point lead, and we did so because Gio was marching down up and down the field at will, especially in that fourth quarter. And the defense woke up and gave Glenn all sorts of issues. So we tied the game up and. Glennon gets sacked, and that forces Tom O'Brien to be conservative, which he starts to play for overtime, but Fedora's like, heck no. Takes time out, Gio gets the, the punt return, runs it all the way back after a phenomenal wall set up by a special teams unit, and we convert two-point conversion that was a block. The guy couldn't get the ball up fast enough, so he just started running and found Jack Tab in the end zone. So we won that game. It was great. This season was phenomenal. 
congratulations to the ACC Coastal Champions, the real champions. Georgia Tech is not the first champions. They're not even the second. By the tie-breaking rules, Carolina came first. They all were tied at 5-3. and three. They all were 1-1 one one against each other. They were all 2-1 and one against opponents other than themselves in the division. And then it came down to who beat the next best team in the league, I mean, in our division, which was Virginia Tech. Georgia Tech didn't beat Virginia Tech. Miami did. UNC did. So then it comes down to a head-to-head. We beat Miami in Miami earlier this season. So we would have been in Charlotte, and we probably would have been the team going to Orlando. But it is what it is. This team was great. And while we don't have bowl games to show for it, this will go down in history books. I mean, we won't go down as Coastal Division champs, but we'll know we were five and three. And we look up the standings on any website, North Carolina will be at the very top. So this is good stuff. And I think the football team. I'm very excited for the football team next year. To be honest with y'all. Um, I think without Geo, this team has enough talent to make it to the ACC championship. Road games are tough. But if this team fights like it did this year, this team will definitely get some wins. Home, The home schedule is not as strong as it was this year. But that's a good thing. Expect a lot of home cooking. Take care of your business at home. Get what you can on the road. And I expect a lot of home cooking and for us to do better on the road than we did this year. Us with Gio, watch out. If Gio, for some reason, decides to come back, this team will be a force to be reckoned with. Just saying. I think we only lose like seven people. And that's not counting Geo. A lot of people returning to have a phenomenal season next year. So UNC football is set. Again, congratulations to your de facto coastal champions, the Tar Heels of UNC. Signing off, Jonathan. <laughs>